So this is the earliest sort of version. So when people look for life on other planets, should we be looking for viruses? If there is life, there will be viruses, for sure. Hmm. As they say, successful systems breed parasites. And that goes for humans. Who says that? As well. <laughs> I never heard viruses. that before. It's a good <laughs> I have lots of good sayings. <laughs> successful systems breed parasites. It goes for viruses. It goes for larger organisms that we call parasites, like tapeworms that live inside of you. And it goes for bankers as well. <laughs> Okay. So a virus particle is not living, but the infected cell is. Right. Right. Now viruses are not on the tree of life. That was right? my next if, question. If you actually, look at right. phylogenetic trees, where you put all the organisms in some order where we think th that they evolved, you will not find viruses in right. it. Right. Right. Because uh, because people feel that this is not living. Do they have their own? I mean, do, so so. So they have their own tree, yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> they I mean, do. They do, we can right? we can put viruses into a wonderful phylogenetic tree, and we can look very far back and see the ancestors. So of there viruses. are types sure. of viruses. Different types, many different types. And do they evolve one from another, or do they have common ancestors that evolve into different types? I mean, do they do an evolutionary? Of thing course. In the so same so viruses certainly evolve, else, but we right? can't look back very far. That's the problem because we don't. We don't we have a fossil record of viruses. It's a very, existence. very limited fossil record. But we've le learned recently, and this is fascinating, that pieces of viral genomes get accidentally incorporated into cellular DNA. So we can look in organisms that are aligned on a phylogenetic tree and look at when the virus went in and see how old it is that way. So I was going to ask you about that because I, I find that kind of interesting. So one of the things we think about is the viral I guess what people call the viral load, that is how many viruses are you mm -hmm. carrying inside you or all of us carrying inside of us.